And good morning. I'm Olivia De Janeiro from the state capitol, where Governor Gavin Newsom is responding to the federal government's decision to reinstate the death penalty. You can see the entire front of the store behind me is demolished, and we're just starting to see the store owner sort of clean it up a little bit. But I want to get right to this surveillance video and show you exactly how this happened. It was just after four o'clock this morning when thieves back what looks like a red Dodge pickup into the front of this food mart here at the Chevron gas station. And then you can see one person manually pushes through the glass, straps some sort of cable or tie down connected to the truck around the ATM inside the store. And then when the driver jolts that truck forward, you can see that ATM just snap through the front of the glass. It's so fast. If you blink, you could almost miss it. Well, it's not often that we come out to a scene like this where we have a massive fire behind us and there's no sense of panic, but that's what we're dealing with this morning. Uh, hundreds of hay bales are on fire, as you can see behind me. But right now, Firefighters are just sort of monitoring this fire. This is burning off County Road 47 near County Road 102. This is in rural Woodland. And this fire has burned so bright and so big that it can be seen from 5 to 10 miles away. We could see it burning from I-80 as we were driving in. As I mentioned, Woodland Fire is on scene, and we just talked to some of the firefighters when we got here this morning. They tell us this has been burning since just after 9 o'clock last night. Uh, they don't know exactly how it started, but but they tell me that hay fires are not all that uncommon. They usually respond to a couple every year. Uh, and something really interesting that I just learned is that hay can spontaneously combust uh, with a giant stack of hay bales like this. If there's any moisture inside, once the hay starts decomposing, it can generate heat. And if enough heat is generated, it will combust. Now, again, they don't know if that's how this hay fire started. That's something that they're still looking into. We're starting to get a better picture of the magnitude of destruction this fire has caused as it continues to burn today, claiming thousands of acres and taking hundreds of homes at latest count we know at least 480 structures have been destroyed. Another 150 have been damaged. And we know there has been a significant loss of life now in the LNU Lightning Complex. A massive plume of smoke continues to grow over Stockton as this warehouse fire rages on. This has been going on all morning. You may have looked outside your window if you live in the area this morning because this plume of smoke can be seen from nearly 40 miles away. As we were driving here on Highway 99, we could see it from very far away. But you do want to be prepared for slick roads if you are heading up here. It rained most of the night, so we're talking about the potential for black ice as the conditions and the temperatures have dropped and frozen over. In fact, we know yesterday CHP responded to several spinouts and crashes. Even this morning as we were heading up I-80, we saw a car into a ditch, ambulances, CHP responding, no major injuries there but still an important reminder to be safe and carry those chains if you are heading over Donner Summit today. These two candidates are making their last pushes to sway voters. We've been talking about the midterm election in terms of days and weeks. Now we're talking about it in terms of hours and these candidates are making sure they spend every minute trying to get as many votes as possible. You know, it's an odd sight driving through downtown Sacramento, seeing business after business boarded up after a violent weekend left many storefronts destroyed. However, some business owners are now turning blank plywood into works of art with messages of hope. First thing this morning, Mayor Steinberg took to Twitter and asked the community to come together to start the cleanup process. And he didn't ask people to do anything he wouldn't do himself. He was out here as well helping clean up. But not only did he help repair the damage caused over the weekend, the mayor also looked ahead to what he will do starting today to try to prevent something like this from happening again. All morning long, families have been showing up here to Martin Luther King Jr. Elementary School to pick up much needed technology to be able to adapt to this new distance learning model. So you can see families pulling up in their cars here, everybody staying inside their vehicles. Crews still actively working here to make sure that all the hot spots, the flames are put out. This after a fire sparked at about 2.30 this morning here at the lock and load storage units off Trade Center Drive in Rancho Cordova. And the flames, the smoke becoming so big that drivers could actually see it very early this morning. 
from Highway 50. This investigation is still very active, as you can see behind me. It's been more than five hours since deputies first responded to this shooting, but they remain on scene trying to gather as much evidence and probably getting a better look at the scene now that the sun is starting to come up. Well, the whole goal is to keep as many people out of jail, as many people out of the prison system as possible right now. So that's why court leaders are considering a statewide emergency order this afternoon that would set bail at zero dollars only for misdemeanor and low level felony offenses. This would not be for violent offenses or violent criminals. We've been following these allegations against Senator Tony Mendoza for the past a couple weeks now, but this is the first time we're hearing Senator Mendoza, a Latino senator, say that his race is playing a factor in how his colleagues are treating him. He's asking to be reinstated, and he is now suing the state Senate. We're going to stay on scene here and work to bring you more information as it becomes available. Reporting live in South Sacramento, Olivia De Janeiro, Fox 40 News. Reporting at Donner Summit, Olivia De Janeiro, Fox 40 News. Reporting at the state capitol, Olivia De Janeiro, Fox 40 News.